More election results tonight and no surprises in the Republican primary for U.S. Senate in Wisconsin. The frontrunner Eric Havdi has already been campaigning against incumbent Democratic Senator Tammy Baldwin. Now it's official after handily defeating Charles Barman and Rajani Ravindran in the primary. Across the river, a number of candidates in the running for Minnesota Senator Amy Klobuchar's seat on the Republican side. Uh, Royce White will be on the November ballot, fending off Joe Frazier and six other candidates. Senator Klobuchar also faced a number of candidates, but none posed a significant challenge on the Democratic side. The incumbent winning with 94% of the vote, 87% percent of precincts now reporting. In District 26B for the Minnesota State Legislature, uh, the incumbent Republican Greg Davids is in the midst of a strong challenge right now from uh, Gary Stewart, a business owner from Mabel. 100 percent of the districts are now in in that race. Davids uh, with about uh, 53 to 47 percent advantage. Now on the Democratic side, voters have selected Marine veteran Ali Wolf. To challenge Davids, a wolf defeated Eric Leitzen, a substitute teacher and tourism advocate from Hoka. And we're going to take another look right now at Wisconsin's 3rd Congressional District Democratic primary. Now, earlier tonight, it was about a 3% advantage for Rebecca Cook with about 45% of the vote in. As you can see there, 57% of precincts now reporting Cook edging that lead up slightly to 5%. Still a long way to go in this one. Meanwhile, Minnesota's governor and presumptive vice presidential Democratic nominee Tim Walz defended his military record during his first solo campaign event today, a union rally in Los Angeles. Now, on Saturday, the Harris campaign acknowledged that Walz misspoke during a 2018 campaign event when he said he handled assault weapons, quote, in war. A Republican vice presidential nominee, J.D. Vance, who served as a Marine, accused Walz of, quote, stolen valor. And I firmly believe you should never denigrate another person's service record. To anyone brave enough to put on that uniform for our great country, including my opponent, I just have a few simple words. Thank you for your service and sacrifice. And the GOP VP nominee Vance will be back in Milwaukee this week, speaking to the Milwaukee Police Association on Friday morning. A press release from the Trump fans campaign notes violent crime rates, drug trafficking, and criticism of the defund the police movement could all be talking points this.